Hey guys, Bob Brenneman here. I'm a realtor in Daniel Island, South Carolina, and today we're going to take you on a tour of a home that we're getting ready to close here in uh, Daniel Island Park, and I hope you enjoy the tour. All right, y'all, so we're going to walk you through this. Uh, we are closing it in, I, don't know, I think, a week from today, so it should be pretty much done. And you can see this is uh, our waiting place here in Daniel Island Park. And all those houses, you know, across the way where I'm shooting right now are on the golf course. And then this house, you know, really, really great house. Um, Klein, Jeff Klein's the builder. I'm a big fan of, of uh, their product. I've sold a lot of them out here in Daniel Island over the years and a couple of them over in Carolina Park and Mount Pleasant. So really good builder. And he just does high quality stuff. If I was going to pick a builder, he would be he would be on my short list. Beautiful day too. Let's get ice tomorrow, but it does not feel like it or look like it. I'm sweating. Love the gas lanterns. All right, let's go in. Good man. So they're putting the finishing touches on this house. I think I probably came by at the right time because I think they're going to maybe retouch the floors. But I really like the um, selections they put in this house. Get you a better look later, but you can see down the end of the street there's a uh, this creek in the river, so really well located. You know, tall doors, I love the tall doors, and of course, you know, at this price point, we're talking about solid doors, which I think you could see put in more houses, honestly. Oh, uh, good, they got the range in, so we were expecting the range maybe to be delayed because of supply chain issues, but it looks like that is not the issue. This is, I mean, you know, when I shoot these videos sometimes, I think. They probably don't really, tr you know, show the scale of some of these rooms. This is a giant room um, and a really awesome floor plan for, you know, the type of uh, home that people really want today. You know, kitchen open into a main living area. Um, master's down in this one. It's got an elevator shaft, I believe, and doesn't, I don't think it has an elevator. I think it has a shaft, but I'll have to check that. The thing that's cool about this, so so the house out the window, that guy bought, there was a lot between this house that I'm standing in and the house across the way. So the guy in the in the house over there, he bought that lot and has sodded it. And I think he has young sons and I think they, they play out there. So the benefit of my client in this situation is that they don't have a house next to them, you know, normally as close as you would see. Um, so I think that's a big plus. I really like those light fixtures. Again, whoever, whoever does uh, the selections for Jeff on his houses, I think does a really good job. You know, they're neutral enough, but, you know, for resale, because I always think resale, but they're also, you know, just, they're tasteful. It's a little butler's pantry. And, and he did really nice use of uh, these tiles, too. I like the, I like the color. Um, wine fridge, porch. Let's do the porch and then we'll, we'll finish with the rest of the house. Let's just go out here since we're, yeah, I probably should have gone the other way, but we'll, we'll stay with what we're doing. This is a really large porch. I think they're going to, they're planning to put in a pool out here. So I think this will be a, you know, really nice setup in the backyard, side yard. more of those cabinets run to the ceiling, which you would expect in this price point, but you know, a lot of times, well, sometimes you see it where they don't do that, which I think is very disappointing. And good, they do have an elevator in this. That's underneath the house. We'll do that in a second, but we're gonna, we're going to check out the rest of it and then we'll go down underneath it. Um, again, you know, large laundry room, uh, more of that, you know, kind of fun tile. It's just got a, I don't know, kind of a coastal 
relaxed feel to it, some of these selections in this house, at least they are to me. Master bedroom, you know, shiplap on the ceiling. Then into the master bath. Oh, wow, the tub. I love the tub. I haven't been in here in probably, I don't know, I'd say three weeks. So, as y'all are getting to see this for the first time, some of this I'm getting to see for the first time. Water closet. And some more. That's nice, that extra shelving in the uh, where the water closet is, or extra storage, rather. Out of this. This is a really, really nice setup. And then it's kind of connects back in with uh, a walk-in closet, his and hers, or something like that. So we are going to go upstairs and this is how I think I pointed this out. Well, I haven't pointed it out to y'all pointed it out to my owners, uh, buyers a couple of times. I really love this window because it's just such great light. And so the rest of the bedrooms are going to be up here. Um, and they kind of continued on with, you know, continued on with the same hardwood flooring, but you know, kind of the, uh, same kind of finishes and the, the kind of the fun light fixtures, shiplap on the walls. I really like those light fixtures. It's kind of old school, something like I would see in my, my grandparents' old house. And again, the video has never scaled the bedrooms. So this is a good sized bedroom. And this is a Jack and Jill, or Jack and Jack, or Jill and Jill, depending on your. tile shower, lots of subway tile. You kind of see in between the houses, that's the golf course. Some clients of mine right there that uh, had Wes Whittle, who's a really good builder. He didn't build this house, but Wes, I really like Wes for East Tech Development. He does a great house and he built that house for my clients across the street. Eh, really can't see any better there. Um, you've got another bedroom. Which, you know, good proportions as, as, you know, what you would expect in this price point. And then another ensuite bathroom coming up. And then something different, something not subway tile, but still a really timeless look. And then you can kind of see, again, a better shot of that lot that I'm talking about that's part of the other house. The elevator runs all the way up to the top floor. And then you got this little, you know, kind of the end of the house part. All right, so from here, we're gonna take you and we're gonna go down underneath the house because, you know, one of the things that I love about the elevated construction, and I talk about this all the time, is, you know, having the full footprint of the house to store stuff, to, you know, to, to use as an entertainment space. If you have kids, I think it makes a whole lot of sense uh, from, you know, just usability standpoint, you have some extra space. In this case, some of this is heated and cooled. Uh, you know, you've got this space down here. This is you know, kind of a mud room area. I think probably some hooks will go there when they're completely done with it. And then this goes out to the garage, which I, I won't open but that's a two car garage. You have to take my, take my word for it. 
And then the elevator, obviously right here. Just more kind of storage. And this is, I think a kind of a, it's made to look like wood, but I believe that's kind of like a tile. And then into the full covered area underneath the house. huge plus and you can see this is screened to keep the critters out as my home inspector who, who is from North Carolina says uh, I always tell him not to write that on a report because people not from the south probably I don't know what they think about the word critters but uh, anyway okay and we're gonna finalize this by I think maybe stepping through here and then we'll I want to show you all the yard and see if I can get out easy enough this way. I think I can. And then just a nice, you know, really nice setup back here. I think, again, I think their plan is to put a pool somewhere in here. And it's not the trip. And then they put plenty of these bottle brush they, these things grow really tall and they'll create create a nice privacy hedge. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. Again, my name's Bob Brenneman with the Brenneman Group. If you like our videos, be sure to click in the right-hand corner of your screen to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to talk to me about anything related to uh, Daniel Island, Charleston, things to do when you come on vacation, restaurants, obviously real estate, I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 843-345-6074, or you can check out my website devoted to Daniel Island, which is danielislandproperty.com, or you can visit our website for all of Charleston, which is brennemangroup.com. Until next time, y'all.